What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we are continuing with the HP Omen 30L. You guys have seen my previous videos. I have received my replacement unit. So what happened to the old one? If you've seen my memory video, I decided to completely return it back to HP and get a full replacement with upgraded memory because it's cheaper that way. If you guys go to the route of ordering and then later trying to get memory from HP, it's going to cost you about $200 more than actually returning the old unit back to them and getting a new one with the right amount of memory you want. So this is word of advice, but we are going to move real quick to the number one requested video, upgrading the storage, extremely easy. We're going to get into that and show you guys how we can install an SSD drive. Pretty much the same thing applies for hard drive, but I am using SSD drives and this is what I am planning to do with this one as well. All my computers are outfitted with SSD drive or NVMe drive. This one came with 256 gigabytes of NVMe drive installed where I'm only going to keep Windows and other uh, specific programs for the system. But everything gaming related or something else that it's not uh, related to Windows is going to be installed on the extra SSD, which is SATA 3. Uh, luckily for us, HP already pre-routed the SATA cables for data and power. So we're going to be able to install that super easy. So you can install up to two and you can install an additional NVMe drive. But again, in my particular case, I'm only going to use one SSD drive for all my game installs so let's get closer and look it up so this particular super easy upgrade all we can do is just pull this bracket out the SATA data and the SATA power cables are both pre-routed already so we got to pull them out of the way a little bit uh, right at the bottom there's a little cutout you can get them out of the way get this uh, data unclipped and out of the way as well and really easy with one hand you can just pull that cage out where we're going to install our extra storage in my particular case i'm going to be putting uh, this corsair neutron 480 uh, gigabytes ssd drive sat at three on there unfortunately hp are not providing any additional screws that you can screw these onto the cage but luckily for me i have a tons of these from different cases that i had in the past so I'll be able to easily screw it in. So all we need to be careful about is the orientation. So the power and the data SATA have to be pointing this way towards the clips of uh, where the cage is. Hopefully we can flip it around and kind of match the holes of the SSD drive with the holes on the cage. Uh, it's actually almost perfect match. Uh, one of those cutouts, get one of the screws, put it in. Same way, we're gonna go around and put the other three on the cage, which is extremely easy and takes no longer than five minutes. After that, you're just gonna be able to pop that cage back in in place. And after that, you're gonna be able to connect the SATA uh, data and the SATA power, uh, very easy. Uh, we're gonna see how that's gonna do. And this is how it looks when it's screwed in. So the SSD will just protrude enough so we'll be able to connect uh, those cables. And now we're gonna put it back up into its slot very easily. Just clicks into place and then we can go ahead, route our cables back where they belong through the cutout. And just like that, we have both SATA power and SATA data routed in. Uh, because the SSD, this specific SSD, uh, the placement of the data and the power are reversed, you can flip the cables around. Um, it's not that big of a deal, so it still fits pretty good. And it's very stealthy, actually, kind of invisible. If you want to uh, look around, you can barely see the SSD drive through the cage. And it's a very good fit. You know, personally, I would not install a hard drive. I hate mechanical moving parts inside modern day computers they really don't belong there if you need extra uh, data space something to back up just get get yourself an external drive usb3 or usb-c it'll be plenty fast but for gaming uh, obviously i'm gonna have all my games installed on that ssd drive and 
the NVMe drive on the bottom is going to be only dedicated uh, to Windows. That's how I always uh, do my computers. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this easy install. We're going to move on to the next videos, uh, guys. We will be a lot more uh, testing on gaming, uh, memory configurations. <laughs> Speaking of memory con configurations, we pick over here. You guys see uh, now I have uh, two 8 gigabytes uh, Fury X RGB memory uh, sticks. Uh, I returned my previous computer as mentioned. I uh, got a full refund and reordered this one with this configuration because it's a lot cheaper than just going and actually buying uh, a separate memory sticks from HP uh, about $200 cheaper so why not this is what I did and uh, now they finally work but we're gonna test more stuff with that uh, you guys are gonna see plenty and of course uh, we are gonna be replacing this uh, GTX 1660 Ti right there on the bottom with uh, the highly anticipated RTX 3080. This is what I'm planning to get. And actually I measured the length uh, between uh, what is gonna be the card and the cage at the end. So we have about 29 centimeters. Um, the one I'm targeting to get from EVGA is 28 and a half. I believe the Founders Edition is around that length as well from Nvidia. So they definitely gonna be able to fit in this case lengthwise and height lot wise uh, but as soon as they become available next week i'm gonna grab one and have it ordered and we're gonna run a lot of tests with that guys i'm sure you're gonna love uh, this specific configuration and that's why i mentioned before get the cheapest possible card because new generation cards are coming and uh, easily you can use this on a different computer or just sell it if you want to for 200 dollars and make it instantly a lot faster with that new generation uh, 3000 NVIDIA or if you prefer AMD, whatever comes out in October from AMD. All right, this was it. Super easy and fast. The fastest and the easiest upgrade you can do at the moment. Uh, normally that's the memory, but we know the situation with the memory. So storage is the next thing, easiest. Uh, and I mentioned as well, uh, the soon the 3080 RTX 3080 by Nvidia goes on sale. I'm gonna order one as soon as possible. It's gonna be either from uh, the Nvidia Founders Edition or I'm just gonna get another one from EVGA. Since I'm a huge fan of the company, I will pretty much always buy um, majority of my graphics card from EVGA. I'm gonna get one of their uh, versions of it uh, and I'm gonna install it here. We're gonna test a lot of games, guys. We're gonna test a lot of things. I'm planning to uh, do some more excessive testing, not only on games, but many, many other things. So whatever you guys wanna request, let me know down in the comments of this video or any of the other videos, what exactly you wanna see. But yeah, I'm super excited. Those 3000 series RTX cards are gonna be real beasts. So I'm really excited uh, to get one pop it in in this HP Omen 30L and see what kind of scaling and what kind of uh, FPS we're gonna get on most modern games compared to the stock 1660 Ti. It definitely is gonna be a huge difference, but we'll see. And again, to remind about the memory issue, if you're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna get one of those kits, exactly the same memory as the one in the computer from Amazon, pay $90 and get 16 gigabytes. Let me stop you right there. It's not gonna work. I already tested, you can see a quick video. The moment you pop in uh, this kit inside, the memory, all the memory defaults on 2400 megahertz. So you're out of luck. And those of you that are saying, hey, why don't you go to the BIOS and change the X XMP? There is no cut such an option in the BIOS, guys. This is HP, that's not MSI, that's not ASUS, that's not Gigabyte. There is no S XMP inside. Um, you can see it in my video. There's pretty much nothing on, on the BIOS. And until HP adds an option to activate the XMP straight to the BIOS, we're not gonna get it. So these, I'm gonna have to return again and just go with my 16 gigabytes that I got from uh, HP. So that's pretty much it guys. Till next time, I will see you and you guys have a wonderful day.